Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. Every December, it's a tradition for me to make a video down here in Peru about an orphanage project I've been working on. Specifically, it's with Not Forgotten, and I make the video every December because I want people to vote for Not Forgotten on the Project for Awesome website. This year, I'm not just going to update you on the orphanage. Apparently, there's an Amazonian river monster project that I've been a part of that I didn't know about. So today, let's go check out the orphanage, then I'll tell you about river monsters. Let's get smarter every day. If you're new to this project, just know that for several years, some friends of mine have been working to build an orphanage in Iquitos, Peru, because it has one of the highest rates of abandonment in the world. With your support, last year we completed the first phase. Check this out. There's one major difference this year from last year. Look closely, you'll see it. There's kids all over the place. <laughs> We have an operational orphanage in Peru. It's a big deal, because these guys are not on the streets. The system in Iquitos is so saturated with abandoned children, specifically boys, that as soon as the paperwork and licensing to set up the homes was complete, over a dozen boys were immediately accepted. These kids are hilarious, and for some reason they really love making zombie faces. Traditional orphanages work like this. You get someone to build a really big building that can house a bunch of kids, and then you hire a couple of workers to run the place and provide for the physical needs of the children. Not Forgotten is different. The focus of the entire structure is a father and a mother. As boys enter the home, they become brothers and the entire house becomes a family. The boys are given stability by consistent love from parents. Let's meet the families. Meet Mary and Moises. Uh, mi nombre es Mary Mi es Cordoba Gonzalez. Many families interviewed for the position of house parents and these were among the first selected. They're super patient, they laugh a lot, and in just a short amount of time I spent with them, I could tell that they're doing this for all the right reasons. One of the, the coolest things to me is that they have dinner as a family, like a family unit. It's really cool. So we're disturbing dinner. This is uh, dinner time at Moises' house. Moises, ¿por qué es importante comer todos juntos como una familia? Bueno. Porque nos, nos hace estar unidos, no es el tiempo en que estamos unidos. A veces estamos haciendo otras cosas. Mary con sus cosas de la casa, yo también con los talleres, con los chicos. Y este es el tiempo en que estamos todos juntos. ¿no? Y compartir siempre, al menos a mí no me gusta comer solo. Y comer con todos es para mí agradable. Okay, one of the uh, host parents, Isaac, is a, uh, a music teacher and he's about to play for us. Bueno, yo enseño música a los niños, no para, para ser músicos, si es que ellos deciden más adelante lo serán, pero yo enseño, utilizo la música como instrumento para ser, ser mejores seres humanos, que la música te ayuda mucho en todos los aspectos, en la memoria, en lo corporal, y en los sentimientos, ayuda a manifestar los sentimientos, ayuda a expresarte, a poder relacionarte con los demás y eso es mi punto de, de vista con respecto a enseñar música, a que los niños sean mejores seres humanos. All right, check this out. Somebody saw the video last year and sent in an anonymous donation to give the kids transportation to and from school. So they use the van to bring the kids here to school. It's a public school, but it's privately funded, which means it has really cool stuff, like a library, a computer classroom, there's a wood shop, there's also a place to learn about cooking. We factor in the cost of a psychologist to periodically visit the boys to make sure all their emotional needs are being met. Also, if the boys are having trouble with any subject at school, they get special tutoring from a private professor that comes to the home to make sure they don't fall behind. Education is key, and for me, this is one of the most important parts. Just listen to how excited these boys are to be learning English from Isaac's wife, Ruth, their mother. What is he? Yellow! 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 What is he? Robot! A robot! Very good! A robot! It is a robot! Okay, so one of the cool things about this place is that these guys have their own rooms and they're very proud of them. So we're gonna give a little tour of the room. Can you show me? <laughs> <laughs> this is Jack. He's going to tell us about his space. Listo. This is my cama. It's your bed. My closet. Yeah, your closet. See? Your drawers. Yeah. In my closet. Closet? No. My escritorio. Escritorio. Sí, bueno. 
He tried it in English, he said it's his closet. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto. So Roadbin is trying to catch the river monster. So we've got a hook here. It's for the fish. If you visit the meat market at Iquitos, you'll see pig heads, alligator tails, and even turtles, which I didn't see coming. One of the most common foods is called the arapaima. It's one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. Three years ago, the local director of Not Forgotten, Gene, released six of these things into the pond in hopes of someday using them to feed children at the property. I've heard the locals call these things paiche, but I've never actually seen one. So it looks like Roadbin has caught a paiche. Let's go check it out. Are you serious? Look at that thing. <laughs> that thing is huge. Oh. Get it, go man. Okay, we have found the river monster. This is a paiche. They're gigantic. They were put, it look at that. Look at that. Come on. Holy cow. I'm going in with the river monster. I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> Oh, the You gotta get this picture, right? It's like a dinosaur. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> Look at the slime. <laughs> hey, make it one more time. Pick it up one more time? Yeah. You get a good pick on the mouth? Bye, Jesus. So people think that we've been working on an orphanage down here. We're actually raising huge. These river monsters. Do <laughs> you want to touch it? Look, look, at, one, look at the kids. Yeah, you touch it. Oh, guess what? Wow. 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 All right, let's get him back in. Right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Smarter Every Day. If you enjoyed it, please consider going to the Project for Awesome website and voting for Not Forgotten. But more importantly, if you'd like to partner with us, please consider going to patreon.com slash not forgotten. You can go there and you can help us offset the operating costs. We're trying to save abandoned children and give them a stable environment to grow up in. I think it's a really good thing. I support it heavily. Patreon.com slash not forgotten. I'll leave a link right over here. You can click it. Go consider helping us offset our operating costs. We're getting kids off the streets. It's a good thing. I'm Destin. You're getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Manuel! Let's take it to Jama, Jared. Ladies and gentlemen, Pinamen Airline cares about your safety. Please pay attention to the. I'm the one, yeah. Mama, say! 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 M